Hey there. So, um, hi. So that thing that I was talking about doing last time in my last video, um, which was, I wasn't sure if I was going to do, which was getting CDs that I used to own that got ruined, um, and they're not on my computer because my computer's new, um, and getting them from the library and putting them on my new computer and then just returning them to the library. Um, I started doing that. Um, I've only done it with a couple so far. Um, but today I just rediscovered, best thing ever, I just rediscovered this CD that I used to be into um, a few years back um, that is, well, let me show you. It's called If I Were a Carpenter. It's uh, got this creepy illustration of Karen Carpenter and Richard um, Carpenter. And I rediscovered it randomly in the easy listening section, which I assume that whoever, whoever put it there probably did not listen to it and just saw the Carpenters and thought, Oh, well, that's easy listening, but I, I think I wouldn't put the Carpenters in easy listening because I think easy listening is code for boring, bad music. But um, the Carpenters are totally not boring or bad. Um, but so, but this is totally not easy listening. It's got like um, Babes in Toyland, Sonic Youth, um, I don't know, like everyone from the 90s. Everyone from the 90s who was awesome. So I just re randomly rediscovered it and I checked it out. And I've been listening to it and I'm like pretty much obsessed with it again. Like I used to be when I first found it. And, and I, I love the Carpenter, the Uno. I love Karen Carpenter and I always have. And the fact that all these people think she's awesome too is pretty, pretty awesome. So this is Blanket. Sorry, here, there you go. It's my dog. Um, he likes to be near me at all times. Um, so what else? So, oh, yeah. Um, so I've been working on this craft project recently, and um, I've been working on pretty hardcore, and I've been watching all this stuff on YouTube, or no, not on YouTube, on Netflix, while... I work on it and I kind of got sick of all the stuff that I've been watching um, and so I was looking for like a TV show to watch that I, I hadn't thought of in a while or whatever I just randomly decided to start watching Felicity um, which I watched when I was younger with my mom and my sister and um, then I just, I didn't remember that much about it, and, um, so I decided to start watching it, and it's kind of, it's kind of awesome, um, uh, but a couple weird things, like, first of all, um, hi, yeah, Brian Krakow from My So-Called Life is in it. I don't know, I haven't figured out yet if he's just in it for a couple episodes, or if he's, like, full-on in the show. But I'm pretty excited about that because I love my soul called life and Brian Krakow is awesome. Um, I don't know. His name, his first name is Devin and I know that because there's two actors on that show whose name was Devin, were Devin. And he was also one of the, he was the other one in addition to Claire Danes who was under 13 or who was under 18 when the show started. So they had to like be tutored. Why do I know all this stuff? Whatever. So he's on that show, which is awesome because I've never seen him on anything else. Um, so, um, oh yeah, and the Cranberries are on this too. Um, everyone, everyone is on it. But so, um, but the other thing that I remember, well, it's weird watching it now because when I was little or when I was, when it was on, um, she was like in college and that seemed old to me. Um, but now 
I watched that and that seems pretty young to me and it's weird because I look at the actress and she still looks older than me which is always weird but um it's just a totally different like mindset to watch it in um but there's one thing that I am noticing which like back when I used to watch it I always thought there was something weird about that character or whatever. And I thought, well, maybe it's just that she's older than me and so she's more responsible or something. But watching it now, I think it's pretty weird too. And here's the thing. She is so honest, but like honest in this uncomfortable, kind of creepy way. like. Like, did you, did anyone remember she goes to college? She's supposed to go to, like, Stanford. And she, like, at the last minute, like, decides to go to New York because this guy she has a crush on, but she never talked to in high school. He's just some random, like, guy she had a crush on, like, is going there. And he wrote something nice in her yearbook. So she decides to follow him to New York for college at the last minute when she hadn't even applied to school anywhere in New York. And so, um, so, okay, so that's creepy and weird, but then, like, she goes there and she sees him, and, like, within the first, like, day or so, she feels the need to, like, go, and this is the honesty part, she goes up to him and she's like, just so you know... I don't want you to feel awkward about this, but I had a huge crush on you in high school and I actually decided to come here to New York because I was following you here, basically. But I don't want this to be an awkward and now I'm here, so I don't know. It was like a weird, it was just a weird, um, what? That's so creepy. Um... And also uncomfortable. And of course, like, what are you going to do other than feel awkward? So she, like, I kind of, okay, I do kind of have to love, I do kind of have to love anything that's, like, really awkward. But at the same time, that's almost, um, almost too, here, get in the picture, buddy. It's almost too awkward for me. Um, and maybe it's just, like, the awkward, that, but I don't know. So that's a weird, unrealistic thing that, like, it just seemed, when I was a kid, I thought, well, maybe it's just because she's more responsible than me that she has to be honest about everything. But I think I'm pretty responsible, and I'm pretty honest about a lot of things, most things, I don't think. But, ooh, weird lighting. Um... But if I was going to do something creepy, like follow someone across the country and change my whole life plan, um, even though they didn't even know I existed, I probably wouldn't go up to them and be like, no pressure, but I'm creepy and I, whatever, I don't know. Maybe it's just different than me. But I, I do like the show. I think it's pretty good. And it's totally exactly what I was looking for. Um, so there was something else that I was going to talk about. Oh, yeah. So um, last night, for some reason, my cat, like, got really... He normally sleeps in my bed, like, right next to my head. Um... And he purrs really loudly because he's a tuxedo cat. And like, let's see, what he's on his perch. Um, he's a tuxedo cat, and something that is totally true about tuxedo cats. Um, I know this now that I've had three. Um, they purr really loudly, and especially like if you do mean things to them, like pull their tail or something, that like they purr even even more. They love it. Um, but, like, when I first got him, he would purr so loudly that, like, I had to kick him off the bed, which is crazy, because I love cats. I would never kick a cat off the bed, but I had to do that with Conan. But so, he just randomly got, like, really spooked out by my bed last night, and started, like, it wasn't that he was attacking me, it's more that he was going, like, 
trying to like get away like and he he kept doing it because I kept trying to get him to come into bed because it was bedtime and so he like you can see he like scratched me up all on here there's some on my chest like right there he like you can't see it um and then he like scratched up my hand, um, my wrist, my bad little kid tattoo, um, there, it's, it's all, um, like right there, he clawed me, um, but I don't think he meant anything by it, but it's like weird. And now it's like my feelings are hurt because, um, my feelings aren't hurt, but why won't he sleep in my bed? It's making me really sad. And he's still, he's not as freaked out about it, but he's still pretty spooked out about it. And it's pretty, pretty sad. Anyway, um, I'm going to keep listening to this and wait except I have to play this song because it's the best song ever it's like the weirdest most random Carpenter song ever and then it's like the best cover ever um but um yeah so I think that's it I gotta go I gotta go work on this craft project and uh, um, okay, so that's it.